morning, Fairmont, and welcome back to the newsroom. My name is Justin. And my name is Bree, and here's Lily with events. Halloween is this Sunday. Have a spooky night. Quick reminder, hoods need to be off in the building. Next Tuesday is a virtual day at home. Ask your teachers for any questions. Wrestling is at West on Wednesday and at North on Friday. Girls basketball is versus Hillside on Thursday. Congratulations to the Avid Students of the Month for October. There's still time to form your Battle of the Books team. If you forgot to come to the meeting, registration is open for two more weeks. If you'd like to participate and you don't have a team, we have a couple of available slots on current teams. Come talk to Mrs. Jensen during break or lunch and find out more details. Hey Falcons, it's Mr. Cadre and... This is Nolan. Hey, and we're here to tell you about Ski and Snowboard Club. Um, for six weeks in January and February, there are races at Bogus Basin and you can represent Fairmont on the slopes. So hey, if you know how to ski or snowboard. Or are, Nordic. Or Nordic, cross country or freestyle, we have a club for you. And if you want more information, we'll be putting them on the announcements or you can talk to Mrs. Nolan or come talk to me in room 12, Mr. Cadre. Or 38, Mrs. Nolan. 38. Yeah. All right. Okay. Come talk to us. Peace. As a seventh grader, Anna has made an amazing transition into junior high. She's an outstanding musician and student, and she works very hard at her craft. She comes to class every day with an amazing attitude and desire to learn something new. Congratulations, Anna. I am lucky to have you in band. Samantha is such a joy to have in orchestra. She always comes to class ready to work hard and never ever complains. She has a wonderful musical career ahead of her and I am so happy to have her in my class. I feel so lucky to have gotten to know Isaac over his three years at Fairmont. He has been a powerful cheerleader representing not only Fairmont, but this year Capitol as well. He has overcome some pretty big obstacles, but his positivity always shines through in the classroom and with the squad. I am so excited to see all that he will create with his life. Thanks, Lily. Now here's Aiko with Dia de los Muertos. Day of the Dead is coming to Fairmont, and we wanted to learn more about it. What is Day of the Dead? So Day of the Dead, or Dia de los Muertos, is a Latin American holiday that happens on November 1st and November 2nd each year. Um, and essentially it is a holiday where you honor those who have passed away in your life. How is Fairmont celebrating Day of the Dead? So Fairmont is celebrating um, through a collaboration of a couple different classes. So art students have put up Pepo Picado, uh, they've done sugar skulls, calaveras out of clay, um, and then orchestra uh, put together a song. So they performed uh, Cielito Lindo. And we are also doing an altar um, so students can actually bring in photos of people who have passed away in their lives. Um, and actually we'll just do that as a digital, a digital version. So there will be a Google form and you can submit a digital picture. And then I will print those out and put those in the display cases in the front of our school. Thanks, Michael. Now here's Lily with Music at Fairmont. The music departments at Fairmont have been busy this year and we wanted to see how things are going. How is your program going this year? You know, it's going so much better than a year ago, being virtual and trying to do band and guitar online was, was a disaster. So the fact that we get to be together in the same room every day, um, we get the chance to interact with each other has been, been huge. Um, and the kids are doing a really good job. I think our program is going really great. We were lucky to have a concert this year. Um, the only thing that is a little annoying is that we have to split up the grade levels so only the seventh graders parents can come see the seventh graders 
and then eighth graders, ninth, et cetera. So usually we would have everybody together in the gym for a big concert, but now we have to split it up by grade level. Other than that, I think it's going pretty well. We're lucky that our masks don't really affect our playing as much as band or choir. It's been a really interesting year. Um, it's been very, very positive in that we've been inside the building, which means we can actually do choir. We couldn't really do it at the beginning of last year because of COVID. And so uh, it's been really nice to be able to sing with each other and make music. Um, it has been a little tricky. You know, we still have to wear masks and obviously wearing masks while you're trying to sing isn't the best or the most fun, but um, people are still invested in making good noises and there for the right reasons. And so um, I'm having a really good time with choir this year. Thanks, Lily. Now here's Iko with Minute to Win It. Welcome back to Minute to Win It. Today we have Mr. McDermott versus Mr. Haynes. This game is called Rubber Band Ranger. Each player has a pile of rubber bands and five cups set up at a distance. Whoever shoots down the five cups or whoever shoots down the most cups in a minute wins. <laughs> Thanks, Iko, and to all the teachers that participated. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for tuning into the newsroom. <laughs>